Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Malachi, chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. And it says, I have loved you, says the Lord, yet you say, in what way have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord? Yet Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated and laid waste his mountains and his heritage for the jackals of the wilderness. Amen. I have loved you, says the Lord, yet you say, in what way have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord? Yet Jacob I have loved. But Esau I have hated and laid waste his mountains and his heritage for the jackals of the wilderness. Amen. Praise the Lord. What does this mean for us? Of course, we know the story, the physical story in the Old Testament about the two sons of Abraham. But what does it mean for us today? Who is it that he loves and who is it that he hates? And let's see if the word reveals that in us. Praise the Lord. In Romans chapter 7, verses 18 through 25, the Apostle Paul says, For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good I do not find. Can we see who the Esau is in each and every one of us? The flesh, the one that wants to do, well, we, we want to do good, but our flesh is totally against the things of God. For the good that I will to do, I do not do, but the evil I will not to do, that I practice. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. I find then a law that evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. There's Jacob on the the inside. For I delight in the law of God according to the inward man, the born-again self that loves God and wants to do his will. But I see another law in my members, Esau, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death, this Esau that we're stuck with right now? I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then with the mind, I self, the, the Jacob, the spiritual born again person, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the Esau, the law of sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood, the Esau cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the corruption, does corruption inherit corruption praise the lord and so the truth is as jesus as john the baptist said in john three thirty, he must increase this born again spiritual person but i must decrease the flesh the esau and now we can look at this word and say when he says i have loved you says the lord and we say in what way has he loved us It was our flesh that he wants to get rid of, our old man in us, the Esau. Yet the newborn, born-again child of God is Jacob, and that is who he loves. And Esau, he is going to take down the mountains, the pride and the heritage of our flesh, and cause us to live with him eternally in the spirit and be born again. Heavenly Father, we thank you for helping us understand you hate the flesh and the sin, sinfulness of our flesh, but you love us because the per- part of us that's going to live forever is our, our spirit being, our soul that you redeemed, Lord. And that is the Jacob in us that you love so much. So when you convict us, when you show us the error of our ways, it's not because you hate us. It's because you hate the things of our flesh. You want us to come in agreement and then you take it all out and leave Jacob for the inheritance in each and every one of us. Thank you for this word. We praise you for your ways. We give you all glory and honor and all of our praises in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.